Hi, how are you? I'm Chris, and this is the Minion tutorial, which was commissioned by Scott Klein. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little guy here. He's a minion, and he's based on a character from the film Despicable Me. And this is a project mainly in character modeling, um, building manual rigs, and doing all sorts of slider messing around and so on, in order to basically come up with this. This is our finished character here. Now, if you look at him, we've got uh, obviously two modifiers sitting on top of him. He's got his morpher and he's got his turbo smooth. If I turn the turbo smooth all the way down, you can see how many polygons the base mesh is. Worked in a very low polygon here. We've got um, obviously a little bit of density here on elbows, finger joins, things like that. Aside from that though, being careful obviously to preserve the integrity of the mesh where possible. So I'll pipe that back up to 3 again. Now if we go down here, we can see we've obviously got his goggles which conform to the shape of his face with the strap going around the back. His dungarees which are a separate object to his body and the straps so that they can also be either used with some flex or be used with you know the rig. We've got his shoes down here which are again separate to his feet. We've got three fingered hands with a basic thumb and we've got eight teeth so the good thing about the teeth is they're not connected to the body so you can separate, separately animate them going up or down. Now looking at the eyes we've got the lens here for the glasses. I'll just hide that. Then we've got our eyeballs, which aren't obviously going all the way around because they wouldn't fit in his head. It's a bit like owl's eyes. His eyelids. And the strap here going around the back. Now if we look over here, we've got some controllers set up to make things easier. So at the minute, if I move his eye expression down to perhaps a fairly neutral amount for the right and left, about there should do. You can see we can control his eyes, make him sleepy, tired. We can add a little bit of sneakiness to our character or we can make him kind of following what's going on like that. His eyes have controls on so if I just unhide the eye controller, here's our eye controller over here and uh, hang on. I've got the wrong thing here, there we go. So if we grab his eye controller, we can move his eyes around, up and down. We'll do all sorts of fun things with those. And the good thing is that his eyes aren't crossed because of the way that we've made this controller. So they'll follow things, but they won't cross too much. Not unless we really want them to, even if we move this in fairly close. So we've got control and expression of his eyes. And as you see, we can, you know, make them a bit boogly if we want to even. Not that we're going to. Now over here we have his morph targets for his face. And as you can see we're able to control his facial expressions extensively. We can have his neutral poses and his... There you go. We can make him slightly more jolly on one side. We can add a slight element of worry to his mouth where it comes in and then reduce this one down a bit like that. open his mouth more, all sorts of things like this and it's all controlled from the sliders so the sliders obviously control the entire top half of his body now for the bottom half of his body we have a couple of choices and uh, I... okay so I'll show you some of the choices we've got here and here we have either a cat rig which is being created over here or we have a manual rig which has been created over here and uh, whilst I haven't gone extensively in showing how to set up envelopes and deforms simply because of the fact that you know it's going to take you time and you're going to have to experiment with it um, we have covered obviously the creation of the manual and the cat rig and shown how to plonk one inside the body well plonk both inside the body actually um, the entire building process obviously is covered end to end. Everything's covered end to end. What you see here is shown in real time. There's no cuts, there's no skips. We don't pull anything out and go, here's one I created earlier. So, I hope you enjoy this. 
At the end, there's appendixes on how to make uh, some nice procedural textures so that you can make this thing look awesome, how to set up a few lights. Um, I wish you the best of luck with this tutorial. Thanks very much to Scott Klein for commissioning it, and to anyone else who watches it, I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.